Hey Sleevers, today we are making cheesecake. We're making raspberry vanilla cheesecake. This is one of my favorites. It is absolutely the best thing to take when you're going to a baby shower or you have to bring some food somewhere. And my trick is I never tell anyone it's sugar-free and I never tell anyone it has extra protein until everyone's already eaten it and gone on and on and on about what an amazing cheesecake it is. So you don't have to eat stuff that's full of sugar. You don't have to eat stuff that's unhealthy. You can actually have super yummy things like cheesecake that are good for you that you can make up and feed to your family. So let's get started. So you're going to need three packages of cream cheese at room temperature. I'm using full fat regular cream cheese. You can use a low fat one if you want, but I always think a little bit of fat in your recipe makes you feel fuller and makes it taste more enjoyable. I also have an entire cup of whey vanilla protein powder and I have a half a cup of a ready to drink vanilla protein drink. You can substitute a half a cup of a heavy cream, like a heavy whipping cream, something that doesn't have sugar in it if you would like, or you can mix up ahead of time your own little bit of, of protein powder and water, but that's what I'm using. You'll also need three whole eggs, and I have two teaspoons of uh, lemon juice, fresh lemon juice that I've squeezed, but you can use the, the lemon juice that you buy from the store. And I've added in there my liquid sweetener already, but you want three quarters of a cup of sugar equivalent. So if you're using Stevia, that's great. If you're using Splenda, that's fantastic. But mine's already added in here. And then you're gonna need one tablespoon of real vanilla and your raspberries. And you can do your raspberries to taste. As you can see here, I probably have about a cup and a half of raspberries, I would guess. But um, go ahead if you like a little more raspberry or if you don't like quite as much, go ahead and add in what you want. So all we're gonna do, it's gonna be super easy, is we're gonna start with our room temperature cheese. And we're just gonna put all those pieces in there. Just like that. I've got it gooey all over my hands. And I'm gonna add in my liquid. I'm gonna add in all my eggs. And I'm gonna add in my vanilla. And I'm adding in my sweetener and my lemon. And then we're gonna close down the mixer and get started. So I was using a new paddle that has the rubber on it and I found that it actually sprayed up too much. So I've switched out to my whisk paddle. You'll probably wanna do the same thing because it just sprayed everywhere and made a huge mess, so. So once you have the batter mixed up pretty good, all of your liquids, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in my protein powder. Okay, so now that we've got all of our protein powder nice and mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add all of our raspberries. Just dump those right in there. You don't wanna beat it for very long because you're gonna break up all the raspberries and I really like it when they're as firm and full as possible. So you're just gonna lightly beat it a little bit more so that everything's mixed through and then that's it, we're ready to go. All right, guys, check out this batter. Tell me that does not look so delicious. I can't wait to get this in the oven. Now we're gonna cook it for 20 minutes at 350 degrees, and then we're gonna turn it down to 300 degrees for another 25 minutes. And I've already got my pan here. As you can see, it has the Oreo cookie crust. And we've done that in a previous episode. We're gonna put the link down below in the description for you, so make sure you go and check out that other video too. This is an amazing crust. So let's get our batter into the pan. What I really like is almost a swirly pattern look. 
So when you're putting it in, you don't want everything to be all consistent and just look pink. You want it to have a little bit of the white, a little bit of the red, a little bit of the pink, so it looks kind of swirly and really natural looking. And I'm just gonna use my spatula and smooth it all down. Look how great this looks. You're gonna wanna use a damp paper towel and just run your finger right along the edge and make sure that you don't have any of the batter along the side so everything cooks really nicely. And I've pre-sprayed this pan as well with coconut oil. Now please try to stay away from canola oil or some of the seed oils and stick to um, coconut oil when you're baking. It's a lot healthier or even butter. And here we go, it looks amazing. We're gonna go and pop this in the oven, as I said, for 20 minutes at 350 degrees before we turn it down. Okay, Sleevers, we are back and this kitchen smells amazing. It smells absolutely divine in here. I love cheesecake. Everything is ready. I'm gonna pop it out of the oven and give you a quick sneak preview before we set it off to cool. These raspberries, you can smell the raspberry in here and it, look at this. Does that not look absolutely divine? It looks like it's gonna be full of calories and full of sugar and full of all sorts of things that can't possibly be good for you, but it is. So now we're gonna take this, we're gonna let it cool for a little bit and then we'll slice it up and let you have a look at how yummy this is. 